Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve a problem from the Russian Math Circles book. So this book is written by Dmitry Fomin and it contains a lot of problems related to Olympiad level. So this problem is from the chapter divisibility and reminders. It is chapter number 3 of this book. And I highly suggest this book for Olympiad aspirants in mathematics. Let's get started with the problem. It talks about three natural numbers a b c and the given condition is 6 divides a plus b plus c. And you are supposed to prove that 6 divides a q plus b q plus c q. So several students who tried to tackle this problem were unsuccessful because they tried to cube this equation and they were confused with the terms as there would be lot of terms inside that you can't handle with single terms in that expression so let's see how this can be solved elegantly here is the question that we are pondering over so first it's given that 6 divides a plus b plus c can you comment about the divisibility of a q plus b q plus c q with 6 So this is the question. This spontaneously reminds me of the identity that relates a cube plus b cube plus c cube and a plus b plus c. Do you know what it is? It's the following. a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus three a b c equals a plus b plus c. times a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca so this could give you a great way forward to this question but how exactly a plus b plus c is already a multiple of 6 so we get that a cube plus b cube plus c cube Minus three ABC. This sums six K because A plus B plus C is a factor of the expression in RHS. If six divides A plus B plus C, then it will divide any multiple of A plus B plus C as well. So that's why we have rewritten the RHS as six K. Now, you know what should be proved. So A Q plus B Q plus C Q. Equals six k plus three abc. All right. So for the LHS to be divisible by six, RHS needs to be divisible by six. So it suffices to prove that RHS is divisible by six. Now, six divides six k plus three abc. But that would be true if and only if. 6 divides 3 abc because 6k is already divisible by 6 and whatever you add to the 6k should be a multiple of 6 hence we just need to prove that the two proof statement goes as follows 6 divides 3 abc which is equivalent to proving that 2 divides abc because 3 and 6 cancels out and that leaves the residue of 2 and 2 should divide abc which in turn is true if and only if a or b or c is even so how to conclude whether a b c or even let's go back to the first condition that a plus b plus c is a multiple of 6 let's say 60 so clearly a plus b plus c is even because 60 is nothing but twice of 3t so it is even 
and for the sake of contradiction let's assume that all three a b and c are odd if you consider that assumption you will get that if each of a b c or odd then a plus b plus c will be odd but that's a clear cut contradiction we know that a plus b plus c is twice of 3t which is an even number so since we arrive at a contradiction we have to disregard or condemn the actual hypothesis which is each of a comma b comma c are odd so we then imply that at least one of a b c is even so up to this much we can definitely hypothesize i mean with proof we can definitely state it with proof and now clearly two divides abc as a or b or c has to be even two will divide the product of all three numbers so thus we conclude that six divides a q plus b q plus c q so people would eventually start with cubing the number a plus b plus c by equating it to 6 60 that is fine unless and until you deviate from the actual given condition too much a lot of students struggled to find the remainders possible for individual a b and c which cannot be concluded here because just the sum should be divisible by 6 i hope you enjoyed the solution write out your own ways to approach this question in the comments see you all in the next discussion video happy learning everyone bye